Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, March 8th, 2020. Free pick in college basketball coming up on this report. Hey, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DocSports.com. And all you want to do, give it a trial run. Real cool way to do that. You click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. And you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster for that matter. Again, it all gets started by clicking on the link below the video. All right, uh, nice day yesterday in basketball five and two with all plays released that's college pro uh, premium free picks in fact we went uh, three and one with the uh, premium picks yesterday in basketball uh, college basketball was nice we hit the seven unit play with Drexel pretty easy winner and uh, also cashed in the NBA with the Golden State Warriors and uh, listen Steph was supposed to play six to seven minutes a quarter they announced during the day that he was not going to play they still got the win over those Philadelphia 76ers who were banged up themselves. And uh, here on the free pick report, we did uh, three free picks in basketball. If you include the picks that I did with Tony George plus my own, uh, so altogether, five and two in basketball. We'll take that every day of the week, no doubt about it. Uh, those top elite level plays now with the seven unit winner winning with Drexel on Saturday, uh, those plays are now 86% since last Sunday and longer term, 12 and three, 80% with our last 15. I do have one going on Sunday. It's a basket college basketball play and it will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Anytime after that on Sunday. And uh, by the way, it's a day game, so don't miss out on that. As we look to go to 13 and 3 with our last 16 elite level plays. Six star play going on Sunday, looking for that big high end weekend sweep in college basketball. Got a lot going on on Sunday. I've still got one game to go in the XFL. It's a total from Sunday's card. Uh, we've got NBA. I've got one game going in the NBA off last night's winner with the Warriors. And uh, also NASCAR back in action. NASCAR, of course, in Phoenix this week. I do have one matchup. We're 100% so far this season in NASCAR. And going back to last May 1st, we are now on runs of 17-4 and 4 and 24-7. and 7. We're closing in on $8,000 ahead for just $100 per unit players since last May 1st. That's pretty good, and we're going to look to win again with Sunday's one NASCAR matchup you don't want to miss out on for the Phoenix race. All right, let's get to our free pick for today. By the way, the NASCAR play, it is available right now as I speak. NBA, NHL, 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, and of course the college basketball six-unit play at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. Wanted to mention also, I did lose in UFC last night with the underdog route. I'm still kind of ticked off at the split decision that went against us with Ioana. I, I actually had her winning by a point draw at the worst, but then again, I was kind of biased with my money, but still, uh, I tend to uh, be able to look at those fights and grade them or watch them and, and not have bias when it comes to how they punch out and grade out. Maybe you don't agree with me, but I thought she won the fight. Anyway, so we move on. Still up over 11 units, by the way, with the last six UFC cards. We'll have one next week, and we'll talk about that more as we get closer to the week. Let's talk some free college baskets, everybody. Uh, we're going to recommend to play on Illinois, minus the points over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Both teams coming in off a loss. Illinois had their four-game win streak snapped last time out at Ohio State, but they're back home. They're 14-3 and three straight up at home this season. Listen, I know Iowa likes to score points, but on the road, they give up over 77 points per game, 46% shooting. 37% from behind the arc is what they allow to their hosts. And meanwhile, the Hawkeyes are terrible themselves from the deep perimeter away from Iowa City. Uh, the Illini are great on the glass at home. Go check out their numbers and are going to face an Iowa Hawkeye team that has allowed their hosts a 1.5 assist to turnover ratio. That's not good if you're a Hawkeye backer if things go as normal away from home today for the Hawkeyes. Uh, Illinois lost that first meeting 72 to 65. They actually led in Iowa City 59-55 with less than six minutes to go in the game. They were playing great defense. They give up 17 points over the last five and a half minutes, lose the game by seven. But I expect them to stay focused in this one, start to finish, and even up the season series a game apiece with the home win. So we're going to recommend to play on Illinois minus the points over Iowa. All right, again, don't forget about our Sunday card, which is led by that six-unit play in college basketball. We look to win again and go to 13-3 and three with our last 16, available 11.30 a.m. Eastern.
Eastern on Sunday. Don't forget about NASCAR. Don't, that, that matchup, one matchup today, will look to stay undefeated 100% in 2020. All right, that'll do it for me for Sunday. If you do like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.